Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today's Wednesday, so let's watch your work on a Wednesday. I did put out a video earlier this morning because I recorded it yesterday and my computer was just being crazy. It wasn't like wanting me to do anything on it. And uh, so I didn't, didn't get to edit it. So I edited, edited it this morning and uploaded it. But anyways, uh, it's the bag giveaway winner. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out and see if you won. All right, but for Wednesday, Whip Wednesday, I got a couple whips here I'm going to share with you. Um, not a lot of progress on one of them. <laughs> I just barely started it. But uh, Junior's taking a nap, so I thought I would take this opportunity to record so that I can get it recorded at least and try to edit it at some point throughout the day. And, um, yeah. Anyways, so my first whip is the Pokemon that I'm making for my brother. I was talking to him on Easter about it, and he had actually forgotten that he had asked me for it. So, uh, there's no rush. But, so last time I showed it to you guys, I had the body done, which is just like a triangle <laughs> right now. So it's called Trubbish, and it's like a little trash bag Pokemon. And so this is his body. And now I'm working on the ties. It's his ears, but it's the, I feel like that's huge. <laughs> the ties, you know, like the bag is tied in a knot. So I got one done. <laughs> it's taking me forever because it's held double, and I don't like working with yarn held double. And it's also a smaller hook. I'm using a G hook, and it's a 4.5 millimeter. Uh, so I feel like it's taking forever, but I got one done <laughs> yesterday morning, maybe. I think it was yesterday or the day before that. So I got to make another little ear, and then he has feet, arms, little spots on the arms, uh, eyes, and I can't remember what else. Maybe that's it. <laughs> but there's one of his little ties, and then there'll be another one kind of off that way. <laughs> but it's slowly coming along. This yarn I'm using is called... Um, Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's Medium Time. Let me check because now I forgot. Yes, Medium Time. I really like this color green. I think it's pretty color green. But I'm just slowly chugging away on that. That is a free pattern and I'll link it below. I can't remember off the top of my head who it's by. <laughs> but um, I'll link it below. It is a free pattern. If you're a Pokemon person or if you know someone who is a Pokemon person. The next whip is the... What month is it? It's April. <laughs> the April... Um, square for the repeat crafter me animal square blanket um let's see here january was polar bear february was a horse march was a lion and now april is a lamb <laughs> and um i just barely started it i just literally barely started it here here it is so far <laughs> i did the, the beginning chain and i did one row of single crochets so i still gotta do about 22 more rows of single crochet to make the base of the square and then i'll border it in white and then the different body parts are made in white and pink. I'm not actually going to use white, though. Let me pull out my yarn balls. <laughs> the uh, These are all scrap balls, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this one is. This is like the, I don't know, skin color <laughs> of the sheep's face. Is that, I don't know what that's called. Um, the base color of its face. I thought about making a black sheep, because so I thought it would be cool. But then I wasn't sure how much more black is going to be in the blanket. And I didn't want just like one random black square. And then instead of like pure white for the um wooly part of the sheep i'm gonna use this off white i think it's aaron pretty sure it's a scrap ball of red heart aaron and i got a little tiny clip on there <laughs> um so i just i wanted it, i didn't want it to be super bright white and uh i wanted it more like a natural color i guess you know i don't know because you know sheeps aren't perfectly white unless they're bathed <laughs> because they're out roaming around in fields and get dirty and then the pink part i think i'm gonna use this pink but i don't know it's kind of a bright pink for these two colors. I might look around and see if I got a little bit darker color pink. This is Pretty in Pink, I think, by Red Heart. But I feel like it's a little too bright of a pink. So I might look and see if I got any other pinks to do. The inner ear and the nose, the tip of the nose. I might make the tip of the nose a brown color, though. I don't know. Because, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm figuring out. <laughs> but for it, I am using an H hook, which is 5 millimeter. That's what they've all been made with so far. And it's only going to be 12 squares because it's one a month all year. But that was going to come out to be a really tiny little blanket. So I think I'm going to make spacer squares to go in between them. But I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Like what colors and stuff. So I will work on that later this year. And they're just going to be solid squares with a border around them. So they'll be easy to pop out, you know, quickly. So yeah, that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to go sit down and work on this while June's napping. And I'll slowly work on that trubbish just randomly until i finish it because it hurts my uh my wrists working on it because it's such like a tight tension with the because it's technically like a bulky yarn with the two together and then i'm using a really small hook for bulky yarn so it's just hurting my 
wrist. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and go get stuff ready for Jesse's school because it's about time that we start that today. And then I will sit down and crochet, hopefully. And I will see you guys in another video. So, but first, I forget, always forget this on Wednesdays. Let me know what you're working on down below. Leave it in the comments. And feel free to share any links and stuff like that. And then I will see you in another video. <laughs> Bye, guys.